Okay, we're going to demonstrate in this video how to export the reading data from Continental Utility Solutions uh, to the Utility Reader Android app. So first thing we're going to do is open Continental Utility Solutions billing software, CBSW, uh, on our computer or server that runs our billing. Uh, then I'm going to go from step one, customer, to step two, billing in Continental Utility Solutions. And then under billing, step one, print route sheets or send AMR, I'm going to go ahead and select Scion Pro. The reason I select Scion Pro is the Utility Reader app was based on the template in Continental Utility Solutions for the old Scion Pro. Uh, so it will read any output data or input data based on that Scion Pro export template. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and select all my routes. On this demo company, I only have two routes. And I'm going to go ahead and select active and inactive and meters that are off and on. You can limit what you want to go to Utility Reader. For example, if you don't want readers that are off to be read or double checked, you can go ahead and select just meters that are on. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and process. I'm going to go ahead and export it to a file here on the computer. It's done. I'm going to go ahead and open. So here's my export file. Then I'm going to go ahead and open Google Chrome on the server or computer that runs the Continental Utility Billing Solution software. And I'm going to type in account.utilityreader.com. I'm going to log in with my Utility Reader login credentials. I'm going to go ahead and select the appropriate company. In this case, it's Western Gas and Electric. I'm going to hit Next. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose a file. And in this case, here's the file that I just created. And I'm going to go ahead and select a billing cycle. So we've already done July. We've already done August. I'm going to go ahead and select September. And I'm going to submit it. It says account at .utilityreader.com says export file uploaded successfully and hit OK. And now that we'll see it's been successfully sent to the app itself. Now if we go into the app, you'll be able to see these readings uh, in the app. Okay, now that we have exported our template uh, or our reads from Continental Utility Solutions to the Utility Reader app, uh, using account.utilityreader.com uh, in the web browser. We're going to go ahead and open Utility Reader. So in Utility Reader, I'm going to go ahead and select the company. In this case, it's Western Gas and Electric. I'm going to select the billing cycle of September because that's what we exported. I'm going to go ahead and look at the route completion status. Uh, and we can see that I have the two routes here that are unassigned and uncompleted. So first things first is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to assign these routes to myself. I'm going to assign myself both routes. Uh, I could assign myself route 1 and somebody else route 2, uh, but in this case, just to keep things simple, I'm going to assign everything to myself. I'm going to hit apply. Go back. Now I can go to route completion status, and I can see my routes and other routes, um, essentially just my routes, because all of the routes that are in this company have been assigned to myself. Then I can go to conduct meter reading, and I can go ahead and select my first route. So first things first, I see the company battery backup power. I'm going to go ahead and go to their site and look at where they are. I'm going to go ahead and tag their current location or the current location of the meter and see where it is on the map. Okay, so that's exactly where I am on the map. That's where the meter location is. Now, uh, if I want to ever go back and look at the map to try to find this meter, I can. Uh, but in the first the first time around on these accounts, you can just go stand right over the meter, hit tag current location, and it'll autofill the GPS coordinates. All right, so there's no high read and low read data available because this is the first time I'm reading this meter. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and enter the current reading, and let's just say that it's 201. So my calculated current usage is going to be 201 because the meter is, we'll say, is a, a new meter. Uh, in this case, let's say that uh, um, regulator needs replacement. So I'm going to make a, a meter note uh, because the meter might be new but maybe the regulator which regulates the pressure there at the same location looks old and rusty so I'm going to put this note in here so the admin staff can say okay um, the regulator needs replacement and they can go ahead and issue me a work order later. I'm going to hit submit and now I can see that my actual reading is completed. I'm going to go to the next one in my list I'm going to hit tag current location. In this case, I haven't moved, so it's going to tag the exact same location. But if I want to, let's just move this guy over. And let's say that I want to tag him there. So I'll go ahead and save that location, and it'll update. 
Same thing, this is a brand new meter or I don't have any prior data, so there's not gonna be a high read and low read for me to look at and see where I should be. Uh, so let's just say that this customer had a reading of 155, calculated current usage. Um, let's just say that uh, this meter needs paint. So he can submit that to the admin staff. Okay, it's asked me now, hey, you've completed your route. You've successfully completed this route. Would you like to add any route notes? I'm going to click add and say um, there was a traffic accident. Slowed readings. That way, if it took me a little bit longer than normal to read, uh, they can go ahead and the admin staff can see what's going on on that route. Then I'm going to go ahead and go to route two, and I'll just quickly fill in these guys. I'm just going to tag a location. Uh, same thing. I'm going to go ahead and enter a reading. Let's just say 25. I'm going to submit, and I'm going to go back and I'm going to enter this guy. I just arbitrarily make up a number here. So now it says route completed successfully. Would you like to add a route? No, I'm just going to hit skip for now. And would you like to export the route to a file? I'm going to hit skip for now. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to export everything. So I just have a single export file to import back into my billing software rather than exporting each route at a time or each reader at a time. So now that I'm done, uh, I can go ahead and double check this. My routes are 100% completed and nobody else has any routes assigned. I'm going to go ahead and go to export route sheet. In this case, I want to export it directly to Continental Utility Billing Solutions. So I'm going to go ahead and select the company, Western Gas and Electric, and I'm going to export all to utility reader. It's going to go ahead and create a download file. I'm going to go ahead that I can email to the server or an email account on the server. In this case, it's going to be Navtos Utility. And here's the file. I'll open the file up and show you what it looks like. This is the file in the format that allows Continental Utility Solutions to read it. I'm going to go ahead and send it. And now that should be available on my server to import uh, using the billing tab. All right, so now we're back at the Continental Utility Solutions site. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and import the readings back in from Utility Reader app to the Continental Utility Billing software. So this was our original export file. And this one is an import file that was created by the Utility Reader app and then I emailed to myself. Uh, so I just downloaded it on a regular file just here on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and open Continental Utility Solutions. And I'm just going to go to step three real quick on tab two, Billing. And I'm going to show you that none of the readings are actually in here. So you can see that we have four customers on two different routes uh, with the current date, current usage, no notes. So we're going to go ahead and go to step two, enter reads or upload from AMR. In this case, we're going to select Scion Pro because once again, the Utility Reader app is based on the Scion Pro template in Continental Utility Solutions. I'm going to go ahead and hit the read date of 7.15 because that's the day that I read. I'm not going to resequence the route. I don't need to. I'm going to go ahead and hit process and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select file. Let me just see where I've saved this. To reader app. There we go. There it goes. So here's my after action report of the, the export. And so I can see that on my four customers across two different routes, route one and route two, it's imported the data. Now I can go here and I can verify. And you can see that all of the data has been entered. Now you can do this with 10 accounts, 100 accounts, 1,000 accounts, 10,000 accounts, 100,000 accounts, or a million accounts on the utility reader. Obviously, if you have more accounts and it takes you 30 seconds to import the file, you've cut a tr tremendous amount of uh, time and resources getting these reads in here. Uh, that concludes the tutorial on how to import and export data using the Utility Reader app and Continental Utility Solutions.